curves are a very useful object type in Blender for uh, modeling things like wires and pipes. We use them quite a lot in Elfin Stream. So um, let's just go uh, click the spacebar and uh, add a curve. My favorite one is the Bezier curve. And uh, as you can see now, we can just keep on adding points by uh, by control clicking somewhere. And uh, we can move the handles to control our curve. But we uh, really want to have more control over it. So um, there are a variety of options for the control points that can be accessed here. And uh, for example, you can switch uh, control point to vector that will make him look like that. Let's just select everything for now. And uh, my favorite option is uh, actually the automatic handle interpolation. Because now the handles are just adjusted wherever the curve points are. And now we can just add points and we don't really have to care about the handles at all. This is also extremely useful for example, if you go to the edit buttons, and uh, you can see this little option down here, it says uh, draw handles, we can disable that. Now we don't see the, hand the handles anymore, so it's also quite useful. Now by itself the curves don't get rendered at all. So uh, to do that, we have to give them some thickness. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just to give them a bevel object. Bevel object is just another curve. So let's just add a Bezier circle. And we call this circle bevel. Let's just scale that down a little bit. And now the only thing you have to do is just insert that name here down in the, in the bevel options. So BE, tap, tap completion is pretty useful, enter. Now you can see the curve has some thickness to it. And we can even see that in edit mode. So now as you can see, the curve is only on that, in our flat uh, 2D plane. And to make it actually move in 3D, we just have to press the 3D button here. Now we can move everything around. Now, there's also something you, you can do to control the thickness of the curve a bit better, which is uh, found under the bevel options. It's a taper object. And again, the taper object is just another curve. So let's say we insert another Bezier curve here. And we call this one taper. I actually misspelled that. Haha, <laughs> sorry keep doing that quite a lot, especially when the screen is so far away as it is right now. Okay, taper. And we just insert that name here again. T-A, tap. Now this curve here, let's just uh, enable the curve points again. Now this curve here just controls the thickness of that curve. So that's also really useful, especially if you want to model organic things, like plants. The resolution of the curve is determined by this setting here. It's called the default resolution. And it's uh, just a default resolution for a 3D viewport, but also for rendering if this option is not set. So if you want to have a different render resolution, then uh, let's say in your 3D view.